And developing now, an entertainment venue is coming to downtown Greenville. It is expected to be one of a kind and an economic driving force for the region. Our Taylor Farmer was at the site today. She has all the details. This old building in Greenville's West End will soon be a hub for music lovers. Top performers from around the country are expected to come to Greenville to put on a show. TrueLine is a part of Greenville's $1 billion development plan in West Greenville. TrueLine's founder and CEO Michael Grozier says this $13 million project continues the transformation of the area into an entertainment district. Other business owners in the area say being a part of the growth of Greenville's West End has been incredible. I think the city has taken its time. It's been thoughtful on who they want to partner with. And I think that's showing and it's still keeping the, the grassroots of the community. So it still feels, you know, it still feels like a local community. Grozier tells us True Line will add to the area's successful growth. It will be a two story, 1700 capacity music hall spanning 34,000 square feet. It'll be on the corner of Red Street and Wardlaw Street. Greenville is an extraordinary town, it's a beautiful place. I don't have to tell you, you know. Uh, but the idea that we're going to try to get bands to stop here that haven't stopped up to this point and try to bring even more music to town, uh, we're going to need something that the industry is going to respond to. We're told True Line is expected to host a variety of performers from all music genres, comedians, and others. Several people downtown all told us they would check out the venue. I would say yes, it's a good idea, especially if they feature a variety of uh, performers. <laughs> Nearby businesses we spoke with say they believe the entertainment venue will positively impact the area and their business. We think it's a great idea. It's, you know, support, you know, we, we support it from both concepts. You know, we welcome the, the business it's going to bring, the foot traffic. We think it's going to be a great addition to the West End. Grozier says he plans to employ 500 people in the area. He says not only will it be a place for fun, food and entertainment, but it will be a driving force in Greenville's economy. For every dollar that people spend inside the building, whether it's tickets or food and beverage or merchandise, they're spending that same dollar outside. So we, you know, we expect that we'll be a $12 million business uh, starting and we expect that means it'll be $12 million in the immediate vicinity around us as well. The entertainment hub is expected to be open in 2025 in Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Exciting, right? Well, the venue is expected to have three ground levels, an upstairs viewing area and a VIP area.